Okay, so this is question two of the mock paper, higher level junior cert, and it's a sets question. So let's have a look. The universe is the set of natural numbers less than 20, so not including 20, less than 20. P is the set of divisors of 15, Q is the set of divisors of 18, and R is the set of prime numbers less than 20. So the first thing I would do is I would write out what each thing equals. So P is going to be the set of divisors of 15, where 1 divides into 15, 3 divides into 15 evenly, 5 divides into 15 evenly, and 15 divides into 15 evenly. Q is the set of divisors of 18, 1 divides into 18 evenly. 2 divides in evenly, 3 divides in evenly, 6 divides in evenly, 9 divides in evenly, and 18 divides in evenly, evenly even. And R is the set of prime numbers less than 20, so there's a few of them. Remember, 1 is not a prime number, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. Okay. So they're the elements that I have to deal with. So let's have a look. Let's start with P. Or let's have a look for things that are shared. Well, the 2, two is shared in these two, but it's not shared in all three. Well, 3, 1, 2, 3. 3 is an element of all of them, isn't it? It's in P, Q, and or. Let's see what's in. Is there anything else that's shared? There isn't. 1 is shared between P and Q, which goes there. Uh, 2 is shared between Q and or, which goes there. And 5 is shared between P and R, which goes there. And then it's just a matter of, okay, 1, 3, 2, and 5. So 1, 3, 2, 5. They're all gone. So let's have a look for P is 15, is the only number left here. For Q, I have 6, 9, and 18. So 6, 9, and 18. That's what goes there. And I have loads left for here. 3, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19. So I'll try and fit them in. I'm oh, sorry, 3 should have been crossed off earlier there. So we have 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. But let's not forget all the numbers that are less than 20. That's a part of, or sorry, the set of natural numbers less than 20. So we have to go through the numbers that don't fall into any of these. So that's going to be 4, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 16. Alright, so 4, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 16 are not sets of, are not numbers that divide into 15 evenly, are not numbers that divide into 18 evenly, and are not prime numbers. Okay, so there you have it there. Okay. Alright, so that's A part 1. Let's have a look at A part 2. Okay. So A part 2 says, hence or otherwise, write down the highest common factor of 15 and 18. Well, let's have a look at what factors are shared between 15 and 18. So that's P and R, sorry, P and Q, and it's 1 and 3, and the highest that's shared here is 3. So 3 is the highest common factor there of 15. All right, 15 and 18. There are loads of different ways you could do it. A lot of us might have been able to actually work that out in our heads, all right? Because you divide 15 by 3, you just divide 18 by... 3 and you get a number, then you go 4, it doesn't go in evenly, 5 doesn't go in evenly, and you just kind of work it out yourself. Calculate the cardinal number of P, union Q, union R, complement. Remember, this little hashtag, as you guys probably know it as, means the number of, it doesn't actually mean the individual elements. So, for example, the elements they're talking about are 4, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. That's not what it's looking for, it's looking for how many are there, and it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so the hashtag of P union Q union or complement is equal to six. Okay, and let's have a look at part B. So part B says, using our U is the universal set where A and B are two subsets of U. It says that the number of elements in the universe altogether is 28, and the number of elements in A are 18, and the number of elements of B are in eight. Okay. Find with the aid of the Venn diagram the minimum value of A union B complement. So what's the minimum value that can be outside the two circles? And the best way to look at it is to imagine if... Right, okay, so A has to equal 18. So let's say all values there are 18, all right? And let's say that they don't share anything at all, which means that there are eight elements here, which means I have a total of um, 26. 
which means that there has to be two left outside. Okay, so minimum value is equal to two. Okay, and if we look at the last part of this, then it says find with the ADI diagram the max value. Well, A has to equal 18 and B has to equal eight. What if all eight elements in B are also in A? So that would mean that there are 10 elements here. Think about that now. That means 18 are still in A and eight are still in B, but altogether there's 18 elements. So that means that there are 10 elements left out here. So the max value is equal to 10. And that was question two, the sets question.